Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable and pleasing to God. Beloved family, in this Lenten journey through the desert to the promised land of Easter, we come to this theme that our sacrifice be acceptable and pleasing to God. And the theme today is confession and adoration. Why is adoration so important? And maybe a good way to explain it is this beautiful parable of the father who creates a beautiful toy boat for his son. And actually kind of created it together, but most of the father does all the work. And the father says, now son, you can play with your boat everywhere except in the backyard in the river. Don't put the toy boat in the river because that current will take that boat away. Well, the boy plays in his, in his bathtub and all that, but he really wants to see the, bo the boat go fast. And so one day he, he, he takes the boat down to the river and... Whoosh, Soon enough, <laughs> it was true, the current took away the boat and weeping and crying, well, months passed by and, and finally the, the two are walking um, around the lake is a beautiful, sto beautiful stores and one store has in the window their boat, that's our boat. So they run into the store and says, sir, that's our boat that we, 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 and he says, no, 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 it's my boat, I found it and so I painted it up and it's, it, it's mine and I'm selling it now. And he says, no, 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 but you don't understand, we created that boat and he says, yeah, and it can be yours again for only $50. $50. <laughs> so anyway, he pays the $50 because he loves his son. And his son, of course, embraces the toy boat saying, I love you even more, twice as much, because I not only created you with my dad, but now I created you a second time. We bought you back. You know? And it's just a beautiful story of, of you and me that our father pays the price, of course, with the gift of his own son to, to buy us back, to, to create us and create us a second time to recreate us, the first time to give us life and the second time to give us, with his mercy, eternal life. But we need to ask for it. We need to seek it. We need to find it. And that's why we come to adore our Lord. Let's take a look at the readings. Maybe this is, the, this is the, the first reading for this coming Sunday is Moses and the burning bush. And the burning bush, God speaks saying, I am who I am. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am the God who created your people. I am the God who created your, your forefathers, who created your whole race and your whole people. I'm, I'm the God who created all of creation. And now I've come to create you a second time because I've witnessed and I've heard your cry of your people in Egypt and I will take them out of slavery and bring them to the promised land of milk and honey. So God creates us and he recreates us all the more reason to adore him, to thank him twice. And that's what we see in the second reading is from Corinthians about that the whole Old Testament is a warning that we may follow God, be obedient to his commandments, to be holy as he is holy, that we indeed may live in his promised land. And Jesus, in the gospel reading this Sunday, warns us, saying, if you do not repent, you too will perish. Jesus warns us that we may repent, and when we ask for mercy, we receive mercy, Mercy recreates us to be a new creation in Christ, <laughs> risen from the dead. And so that's why confession is so important. Definitely every day in prayer. And I recommend monthly, at least once a year, a good confession with your body into the body of Christ, the church, in the sacrament of confession. Hearing Jesus saying, I absolve you of your sins. Your sins are forgiven. And with that, there comes even more adoration, more devotion, more thanksgiving that, God, you created me and you recreated me. You saved me. You bought the price with your own blood and I adore you all the more. That's the good news of St. Mary Magdalene who washed the feet of Jesus and she who has been forgiven much, loves much. Let us also love the Lord and adore him with all our heart.